Hey y'all, welcome to another video from Reckonow.com. So today I'm showing you how I added some J-hooks to my utility trailer that I carry my golf cart on so I can carry the kayaks as well for going on a trip. So here I'm just showing you what the finished product looks like. There's a set of J-hooks that have pool noodle on them and they're attached firmly to the rail of the utility trailer. And the way they're set up, uh, there's a split in the J-hooks that I can put the straps through and then strap them to the bottom and so it's really easy you don't have to put it on top of your truck which i normally do and you can put both both your kayaks one on each side right on the rail and it doesn't travel any wider than the normal utility trailer since uh you don't have the ability to add the bow and stern straps to the front and back of the car what i do is i attach one to the back of the trailer and I attach one to the front of the trailer i don't want to attach it to the truck that way you know, when you turn in the truck, the length of the strap would change. But all you need to do is you slide them right onto the rail. And there's, there's, you have the ability to just move them to the length of the kayak that you're carrying. And then I have these two brackets, one on, or there's two on each J hook. And I tighten those down. This allows me to firmly attach it to the trailer, but also to remove them if I don't want them on there. And these are three and a half inch hex bolts that I just screw on. I want to have about three, at least three threads showing. So here's the details of how I made it. You need two two foot sections per J hook of square tube. And then you need an a foot and three quarter inch section. And I miter those at 45 degrees because I'm going to make a giant L out of the square tube. So there's the 45 degree cut. In addition to the 45 degree cut, I want to make a little bit of a, you know, the J of the hook. So I want to change the angle to 60 degrees. And once I do that, I take the opposite end of the 45 degree miter, uh, one foot by three quarter inch piece, and I cut a 60 degree miter on it as well. And then I'll cut a three inch section mitered at 60 degrees. And I'll show you how I put that together. So Here's the 45 degree miter and you're going to make that L. So I do grind these down as well because I am going to need to weld more pieces on. I also didn't want to catch the kayak on any of the welds. So again, you'll make two of those. And here I am putting the 60 degree miter, the J uh, end of the hook. Again, you'll just grind it down. So once you've made two of these, you're going to get a three inch spacer and you're going to weld it to both the you know, to both the 45 degree corner and also to the top of the two foot section. So now that you have that welded, what we're going to do is we're going to actually take the other L that we made and we'll weld it so you have a piece that looks like this. So you need two of them for a kayak. So then I'm going to cut a seven and a half inch piece of angle iron. This is one and a half inch angle iron. And I couldn't find my step bit, but this is a three eighths inch hole. I'm going to do two of those that are three quarter inches from the side. And then four and a half inches from the back, you'll weld that on. This is going to be the beginning of the bracket. So then you'll take another piece cut the same way. And I just clamp it here because I wanted it really tight. And I'll tack that in place. So again, these are three eighth inch holes. So when you pull this off, it's actually going to be really snug. It's going to get, get even more snug when we paint it. So I did find my step bit for this. So again, drill another set of three eighth inch holes, three quarter inches from the end, but one inch from the side because this is two inch flat bar. And I didn't want any sharp corners. So I went and you took my uh, angle grinder and I just curved off every all the brackets as well as the angle iron so I didn't catch the kayak and this is just black bed liner so I'm going to paint them because I want them to be fairly tough I know this is going to scrape off as I, as I remove them but um one of them be pretty tough these are just plugs so again I didn't want to catch the kayak on anything three quarter inch plugs and so you'll put them on the J and then at the end there's also two open holes 
And that, then it's just a matter of putting the um, pool noodle on. So I get a 21 and a half inch piece and I slice it. And with pool noodle, you can actually take a heat gun and you get it pretty hot. You know, watch your fingers. And then you can push it together and it will actually seal back together. So that's what I did for these long links. And for the shorter links, I don't plan to actually seal them back together. Since the kayak will sit on it, it will hold them in place. And that's really all there is to the J-hooks. You can make a set of two. And I made actually four of these so I could put one on the other side of the utility trailer as well.